ChatGPT is pretty overrated. The future of online business isn't using AI chatbots to help you build a business. It's using a fully AI web browser that can actually automate tasks for you. Things like creating sellable info products, doing competitor research, or even automating your inbox. And right now, I think the most powerful AI browser out there is Comet Browser. And in this video, I will show you several ways that people are using Comet to start online side hustles, build up their existing businesses, or just make some extra cash. So this is the new Comet Browser. You'll notice that it looks like a standard web browser, but there's so much more going on here. Now this is built by Perplexity, which is like an alternative to ChatGPT. However, what makes it different is that this is commonly called a Google replacement because if you ask it any questions, like is there any real evidence that aliens exist, you'll notice two things. First, it is really, really fast. It gives you an answer quite quickly. And second, it uses a ton of sources. You can come in here and see all of the websites it pulled information from. You can click on any of these and actually go to the website to verify what it's saying, which means that it usually hallucinates a lot less than ChatGPT does because it's always pulling so much information from the web. Now, Comet takes this idea and brings it to the next level because instead of just finding information for you, it can actually execute tasks across multiple websites. And that's what makes it really powerful. And the most amazing part about this is that it's completely free to use. If you wanna try out Comet for yourself, I'll have a link for it in the description down below. Now, Comet is a very easy web browser to use. You can, of course, navigate to any website just like you would with a standard web browser. However, pretty much everything else is different because it's built with AI from the ground up. So up here, if you were to search for something like in the search bar, like you normally would, like if I were to say how to fix an iPhone, it's not gonna give me Google results. It's going to give me an AI answer again with those citations so I can always navigate to the actual website that tells me how to do it. In addition to that, anytime you open up a new tab, you'll of course see this chat box right here, which I showed you how to use before. You can ask, ask it any standard quick questions in there, but also in here, you can do more complex multi-step tasks, which I'll show you in a few minutes how I use that. But another really powerful feature about this is that when you are on any website, like I'm on right here, on the top right, you can open up the assistant and actually ask it questions about this website or you can click on this button right here that will actually summarize the web page for you. But I think one of the coolest things about it is that if you have multiple tabs open, Comet can actually pull information from all of them at once and even take action across multiple sites. And that's really one of the coolest parts about it. Okay, so let's get into some of the ways that you could potentially make money with Comet Browser. Now, of course, I'm not guaranteeing that any of these methods will work for you. This is really just for educational and entertainment purposes, but I've been in this space for a really long time, and these are some of the best ideas that I've seen. Now, when you first open Comet Browser each day, one of the first things you should do is take advantage of their workplace feature. This is a really cool feature, and I wanna show you how it works before I show you specific examples of how to use Comet Browser to start or run a business, because Workspaces is gonna allow you to get up and running so fast. So check this out. I'm here on Comet Browser, open up a new tab, and right in the box, you just wanna use uh, some prompt like this. It says, spin up a quick, pitch workspace. Open Google Slides, a new deck, a royalty-free image site, and a color palette tool. Group them as pitch deck. And then here you can see it created this workspace up here called pitch deck. So we have one tab with Google Slides, another with Upsplash, which is like for stock images, and another for this color palette. And this is organized separately from my other tabs. That's what workspaces are. And what I love about this is that when you're looking to get started with work, how many times have you sat down at the computer and just like you can't motivate yourself to even take the first step? Well, this really eliminates that because it is getting your workspace set up for you, kind of uh, eliminating that friction to allow you to get up and running and started on your work much faster. So here's another example that I actually use. I'm telling it to spin up a YouTube workspace where it opens youtube.com, Canva, which I use for my thumbnails, and Notion, which I use to help me generate or keep track of all my different ideas, group them together, and also open other new tabs with trending YouTube videos about AI. 
So here we can see my new YouTube research workspace. This is everything I need to get started every day when it comes to creating content for YouTube, as well as three recent videos that are going viral. This one was just one day ago, already has 20,000 views. So I'd go ahead and watch this and say, hey, what worked for this video? Why is this one blowing up? Can I do something similar for my channel? And here are some other similar videos and channels as well. So researching trending videos is something I manually used to do every single morning, but now when I activate my workspace, it's done for me. And maybe for you, that's researching different niches or staying on top of different trends in your industry. Whatever it is, you can sort of have this morning report of all the tabs that you need open to look at, and you didn't even have to find them yourself. But let's dive in now. I'll show you some specific ways to use Comet Browser to potentially start an online business. All right, so for this example, let's assume that you want to put together a guide that teaches people how to start using AI, even if they're a complete beginner. And this is something that you could potentially sell on different websites. So what I did here was I opened up four different tabs that have different articles about how to get started with AI for beginners. And I'm coming over to a new tab and asking it to look at all of that, compile all the information and create a nice looking guide inside of Canva. Now you can see it's actually working here. It is logged into my Canva account. So let me go ahead and click on this. This will actually open it up so you can see what it's doing. It is on my Canva account. It clicked on create a new design. It typed in here, infographic. It's choosing the right design that it wants. So here you can see it's now searching. It typed in here, beginner guide education. It's looking for a nice template to use. It then chose one of those templates and it's gonna start filling this in with all of the information and personalizing it to all of the information that I gathered from those four tabs. And while this is working, I could step away, I could go for a walk, I could go make myself some food. And then when I come back, this work can be done for me. And then here is the final result, this entire infographic that says the AI revolution is here, AI for beginners, kind of walks people through how to get started with AI, explains what it is, the easiest way to use, it even suggests chat GPT as sort of the first way that you experience it. And then when you're ready to take things to the next level, you can use Comet Browser. So pretty cool that it's able to produce this completely autonomously. So when you are first starting an online business, one of the best things you can do is competitor research and taking a look at the different things that your competitors are doing that you might be able to improve on. So let's say for instance, you wanna create a new course about dropshipping. So what I did was I came over and asked Perplexity to list out for me, what are the top rated courses about dropshipping? So it gave me a list of them, here are them right here. And then what I did was I opened up all of those in different tabs, just three of them right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the assistant here on the top right, and I'm going to say to it, analyze all the open tabs, assume that I'm looking to create a new course about dropshipping. Look at all the open tabs and analyze all of those websites so that I can use that information when making my own course and my own website. So here are the results right here. It's able to kind of break down exactly what all these sale pages look like. Here's all three of them right here. So you can kind of get an idea of the common themes. So right here it says key themes and inspirations for your own dropshipping course, credibility building, curriculum clarity, multi-channel content, strong community, lead generation, et cetera, et cetera. So all of the important stuff that your competitors are doing, you're able to see right here. But you could take this one step further. I can now tell it, look for reviews of all of these courses, look for common complaints that I may be able to solve with my own course. And then here we get a full breakdown on all of that information. And this is a really, really good starting point because if you're looking to break into a market that already has some competition, a great way to do it is to address these common pain points that other people are complaining about when they're using your competitors' products. and allows you to come in and sort of gain an edge in a market that otherwise would be pretty difficult because there's already some competition. For this next example, we are gonna do some market analysis. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new tab and in the box, I'm going to ask it to look at my YouTube channel at Paul J. Lipsky and analyze the last 20 videos. I want it to break down by topic which videos have performed the best, break down by keywords, which one have performed the best. 
And I'm telling you, I'm looking for patterns. And I then wanted to suggest three videos that I can make next. Now, if you have a website, you can ask it to look at your website or your recent blog posts. You could also do this for competitor research. So you can have it look at several of your competitors' YouTube channels and break down for you which topics are performing the best and maybe what titles are performing the best. Or you can do that with their websites as well. So here are the results right here. It gives a breakdown by the different topics with performance insights. And it even gives me recommendations for my next three videos. So of course, you can either do this for yourself. You could actually do this for other YouTubers, even if you don't have a channel, and reach out to them and say like, hey, look, I'm a brand and YouTube strategist. I actually created this free report for you. I would go ahead actually and take this report and put it in like a really nice looking PDF, send it to them, say, hey, I did this to you absolutely for free. I have some ideas on how to improve your channel. Would you be willing to work with me and, you know, for a commission basis to actually improve the number of views and, and, you know, engagement on your channel? So even if you don't have a channel yourself, that is a service that you could potentially offer to people. Now, once you have a business, a common problem that a lot of business owners face is their inability to scale up the business. And that's usually because it's very expensive to do that. You either have to pay for expensive software or you need to hire help. But thanks to Comet Browser and AI, this is easier and cheaper than ever. So I'm gonna show you an example of how I use Comet Browser to automate my work. And this is something that's not gonna be applicable to all of you, but it's something that you're gonna be able to adapt once you understand this, this framework. So a common problem that I have is that I get a lot of emails every single day, and I'm willing to bet a lot of you get a lot of emails every day as well. So one of the most common emails that I get are from companies that wanna sponsor my YouTube videos. A lot of times they want me to try out their new AI tool. So what you can do is actually have Perplexity help sort through all of those emails for you. So I'm going to tell it, go to my Gmail and find any emails from potential sponsors who wanna sponsor a video on my YouTube channel. Open the email. If they name a product, I want you to go to that product on their website, uh, summarize what the product is, create a summary of that for me, and also go to my Google Calendar and pick a potential date when I might be able to record the video. Now, while that's working, I'll show you the, the fake email that I sent myself for purposes of this. So this is an email that says, hey, would you be interested in making a video about our new AI tool? It's called ChatGPT. Here it is right here. And we're willing to pay you $3,000 for the video. That's obviously fake. I just did it for the purposes of demonstrating this. But here you can see the results from Perplexity or Comic Browser. It's saying, okay, here are the details. You received an email today. It's an offer for $3,000. And here is the website, it's ChatGPT. And here's a summary of what ChatGPT actually is. And it looks like you have no event scheduled this week. So you have plenty of open space to actually record this video. Now, if you wanted to take this one step further, you can come on the left here to these things called spaces and create a new space and actually create a space for this with these instructions. So you don't have to give it the instructions every time and give it more information. So I could tell it exactly what I look for when I'm looking at potential sponsorships, the different criteria I'm looking for to make sure that's a best fit for my channel. And obviously you can adapt this for your own needs. So if you're receiving a lot of emails from customers, for instance, you can ask Comet Browser to go through all of your recent emails and create a summary of them and really highlight for you which ones are the most urgent that need to be responded to the quickest. This last one is a bit of a bonus one. However, I do think it's important because time, as we know, is money. And anywhere that you can save time is definitely worth it. So this means not only in your business, but in your personal life as well. If you could save time in your personal life, that is more time and energy you can devote to your business. So make sure you're using Comet Browser to streamline and optimize your own life, your personal life. So for instance, here, I'm telling you, I wanna take a trip in November. I wanted to find places around the world to visit that have the best weather during that time of the year that need to be a direct flight from the airport closest to me. And I don't wanna be on the plane for more than eight hours. And then I wanted to create a Google document that lists out all those top choices, including a picture of the location. So this is something that I would ordinarily spend a lot of time doing myself planning for vacation, but I'm having it do this step for me 
first. And then when I actually find a place that I really like, I am then going to actually ask it to plan out the entire itinerary for that trip as well. That's gonna save me a tremendous amount of time. You can also have it look for flights for you. So again, anywhere that you can save time, I think it's really worth using Comet Browser to do that. So here we can see it is working on my vacation report. It's putting all the photos in, putting all the, the text in here as well. I can actually go over to Google Drive and see what it has created so far. So it's suggesting the Bahamas. Here's a photo of it. Here's Belize. Here's Costa Rica. It's not done yet, but you get the idea. It is actually pretty much is done. Just a couple more photos. You get the idea of what it's going to look like. And I can come in here choose one of them, saves me a tremendous amount of time. And for your personal life, you should be using this for everything. Everything we've covered in this video from managing your email inbox. If you ever get articles you want to read, you can have Comet Browser summarize those articles, even do any sort of research that you need, like if you're looking to make a new purchase. So there you have it. Those are some of the best ways that I have found to potentially use Comet Browser if you're trying to make money online. Now, like I said in the beginning, this tool isn't going to make the money for you. You still have to take action, but it can save you hours of research and help you work much more efficiently. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then I have another one that I think you are absolutely going to love that I made recently. If you click right here in this video, I cover seven different AI tools that are completely free to use. You can click right here to watch it. And if you're into AI tools, especially free ones, I think you're absolutely going to love this video. So click right here and I'll see you there in just one second.